have a game called Start Survey. Very loud rain. I don't think there's any... Oh. <laughs> no options to change that. Alright, so back to the game. Yes. Am I having a nice day? Oh! I mean, I just woke up. Oh, I want to say yes. Do you have many responsibilities? Oh, yeah. I work in a few hours, so... Let's look around for a moment. Do I have to... Oh, God. Okay, so there's water... Water down. Oh, I guess I just have water now. <laughs> it's so bad. Yeah, familiar, I think. I know where you are. yourself questioning your existence. Ah, uh, no? Not really? Yes? Question mark? Oh, here we go. Are you answering these questions out of free will? You could argue both ways there. Everything's planned out, then technically no, because the questions are already kind of set in place, so I know what I'll be answering. It's trying to get philosophical. Yes. Are you certain? Maybe? Okay, why, why, why can't I pull back this curtain? It's sketching me out. Certain. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna go with yes. You feel comfortable in your room? Uh, I'm gonna say no for the sole fact I do not like this curtain. If the lights went out, would you be scared? Uh. I don't have lights in my room. I know there's a light source here, but there's no... like a lamp or anything. So, no. <sighs> it asked if I'd be scared if my lights went out, not if my door opened. Uh, have you ever wondered when you'll die? Mm, no, not really. I've never cleaned off my desk lately. No, my desk is actually kind of messy right now. Put the folder on your desk. You recognize the contents of this folder? Uh. Well, it's empty. Yes, I have internet access. Did it just say throw away the contents in the folder? There were no contents. Can I put this water down yet? What's happening? You have enemies? Uh, no? There was that very angry duck, though. I hope so. 
Uh, are you alone? Well... I want to say yes. If you screamed, would anyone hear? Uh, uh, no? Take some time to relax. I drink some water. Water would really help me relax. Uh, yeah, sure. Are your feelings really not just programmed like a machine? Um. Uh, yes. <clears throat> Is there a meaning to life? No. At the moment, no. Do I know who I am yet? Arr. Know what is happening? No. <laughs> We're told the truth about your existence. Would you deny it hopes for a better answer? Oh, uh, no, probably not. The Joe? I'm assuming that's meant to be The John Beers, which is my username for this computer. When I ask you questions, really you answering? Yes. Yes, it is. I could prove to you that you are not sentient. Would you be shocked? Uh Considering this is a game, yeah, sure. You want to know the truth? Yes! Tell me the truth, game. Out your window. Oh, I have to zoom in? Well, something's gonna jump out at me. around you, this room, the door, the computer, the house next to you. None of it is real. I made this world. I made you. Oh! Yes! I've been trying to help you see it for, uh, for what it is, and now I've finally done it. And finally set you free. Free from what? And what was the monster in the room earlier? Oh? Well, game just closed. The end, I guess? Uh... Yeah, I guess that was pretty okay? Um, it tried to set in a feel of, like, existential dread didn't necessarily get um like it was pretty okay it, it had that one like slight jump scare that kind of got me but yeah i think it wasn't awful but probably one of the weaker ones i've done so far so next game all right next we have a game called wrong floor and I'm liking it already. There's settings. <laughs> Sensitivity in the middle. Uh, maybe, maybe volume down a little bit? Nah, I'll leave volume alone. Uh, yeah, leave camera shake on. Sure, leave dot on. All right. Oh, damn, we get all right into it. Okay, so there is a run button. 
Oh, I better use the elevator, okay. So it's not gonna let me go up here either? No, all right. Come here, elevator. Oh, look at that. Oh, okay, right click is to zoom in. Ooh, sensitivity is really high. Maybe should have uh, changed that a little bit. That's like very high. Oh well, uh, let's go to floor two. No. Oh, floor four or five. I don't know which one that was. We're going to one of them. Uh. Oh, Jesus. Okay, can I go to a different floor? No. A quick look in the room. Uh, aired breathing. Oh! There's definitely breathing in here. Okay, pick something up, please. No? Am I supposed to walk forward? No. Yeah, there's there's something over. Let me get in the light so you guys can actually see. There's something over in that direction. I hear the breathing right in my ear holes. Well, as we say, ass first into danger. Can't hurt me. If I can't see it. Ugh. Well, that didn't work. Oh. I can't do any. Can I get back on the elevator? You need to turn the elevator generator on. What? Okay, I would love to do that if I could see. There's supposed to be an elevator generator over here? I can't even tell where I'm walking, right? Okay, clicking against the wall. Mm. Can't go in this doorway either. Well, this is, uh... Oh, 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 there's another pathway here. Cool, found it, dead body, mmm, yummy. Oh, the dark is like really dark. I thought that was a person. There's definitely something. Mmm, something's real juicy. Oh, I can't go that way. Go here. Okay, so this room I don't think is anything. Go... Low? There's nothing over there. I can't I can't see shit. Ah, uh, well. 
can apparently pick up the flashlight. <laughs> There's no interact button or anything. I don't believe that anything told me I could interact with stuff. Oh! My god. Okay. Well, I can see now, which is the important part. So I definitely tried going this way before none of this was here. Uh, extremely dangerous maniac! About 2.5 meters, cuts all over his body, 30 years old. Homeless, may hide in abandoned buildings or basements. Oh no, that is very specific to where I am right now. Oh, well, it's safe to say there's no generator in here. Uh, hello? Yeah, he's a maniac for sure. And be broken with a crowbar. Okay, so I'm supposed to find a crowbar. I can't open those. I'm assuming the crowbar is maybe out here? Yep, in this room that opened up. Oh, well. Did I really be following this guy? Like, I'm sure this is the way I have to go to get this crowbar, but... Should I really be following him? Assuming no. Yeah, I can't open the door. Well, there he is. Well... That's unfortunate. Uh, the code behind the red cabinet. Jump scare? Ah. Jump scare? No? Oh. Huh. He's not here anymore. Oh. Uh. I'm supposed to get a crowbar at some point. No crowbar in that room. Yeah, I can't open the door. That's something about the code being behind the red cabinet. So I feel like there are a few red cabinets. There is... Is one in here? Was that always there? Was he always here on the wall, just hanging out? <gasps> oh! God! Well, I'm assuming that's a no. <laughs> okay, the code behind the red cabinet. Can I push this? Am I supposed to be able to move this? No. Okay, nothing on the floor. I can't open it, right? No. Alright. There was another red cabinet. 
this way. Hello again, Mr. Body. go so the code is 1990 oh I hear his breathing again there's gonna be a jump scare well I hear his footsteps are they supposed to see something? Cause I definitely bitched out there. Oh. I'm like, wait, is there a light switch? Uh, but no. The answer is no. This looks picking up again. All them thump thumpings. No one's home! Actually felt super intense. <laughs> okay, so I have a crowbar. Should I be afraid of this guy now? Something tells me it's not just gonna let me beat him over the head with it. Oh, the red room. Well. I then regret walking in here. It's gonna make me sit in the chair. Wow, why was my flashlight just awful coming out of there? So the boards are right over here. Are you telling me I couldn't crawl under those? I definitely could have crawled under that. Uh. Oop. Good. Here's on. Am I good? Damn. Oh! Oh. Uh, hello, sir. I'm here to talk to you about your car's extended warranty. You don't need that axe. You definitely do not need that axe. I'm uh, I'm gonna just head out. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna just head out. Have a good day. Bye. Oh, end. Is it the end? Because I still hear drips. Hey, I'm assuming that is the end. But yeah, that one was much, much better than the first. Um, I, I like this one a lot. The flashlight was probably one of the best flashlights I've seen in a horror game, to be honest. <laughs> like, it was actually really good. 
Um, I liked the kind of like sway mechanic. Like it was uh, attached to your mouse. So it just felt like really cool. I don't know. It flowed pretty nice. Very, very linear. Um, and maybe too dark. Like I get a lot of it was like atmospheric horror. But at the same time, I don't... Yeah, I, I, I don't like how dark it was because I had no idea where I even could walk or couldn't walk. Because one, it was like very, very linear. And two, like you just couldn't see even like the outline of stuff. You had to kind of stumble in the dark and hope you hit the entrance. But other than that, it was, it was really good. I liked it. Kind of linear, a little bit too dark. Still pretty good game. All right, so last game for this video is Eki the Station. And supposedly it has a few different endings. So depending on uh, how many endings there are will depend on if I do them all. Like if there's only like, I don't know, like one through five, I'll probably take the time try to do them all. But if there's any more than that, then yeah, that's uh. That's going to be a bit much, so I probably won't. Again, cheers for having actual settings. That is always appreciated. Ooh, there's a run key. Was that? Nope, not credits. Controls. Yeah, sprint, E to interact. Cool. All right, I better hurry. I'm about to lose the last train home. Gotta be kidding me, this can't be happening. No way, please! I need this train! Uh, guess I'll need to find another way to get back home. Uh, if the solution's gonna be walking... Like, you probably don't need a train if you can walk that easily. Hello, ma'am! Schoolgirl. Go away. Well, fine. I hope you die first. Alright, can I go this way? I guess there's like a phone. Get some spare coins I could call and ask for a taxi. Ooh, so I can find some spare coins someplace. Coins. Lucky day. Do I need to find more? Okay, yes, I do. Okay, I don't. Yeah, I can't open those. Oh, bicycle. Can I steal a bike? I don't think there are bikes here that I'm seeing. Yeah, no. Nah. Oh, stealing a bike would be super convenient. Alright, so I do have some coins. I I'm gonna regret walking all the way over here. Like, there's definitely nothing, right? Yeah. Yeah, absolutely not. Okay, so... I do have coins, I just need a few more. Uh, I already tried to open those doors and I couldn't. No co- What? Oh, what?! <laughs> I'm in the back rooms? You wanted to go back home, but instead you no-clipped into the back rooms? Or into the bathrooms. Time to explore. Okay, well that was ending four out of five. It's actually really funny. 
Okay, maybe I can get the train if I just sprint. Like, just run right over. Okay, no, not possible. Understandable. Okay, I know there's coins... ...there. Are there coins over here? Not that I'm seeing. Alright, yeah, I'm not seeing any coins, and I can't seem to leave uh, this area. Like, I can't get on the track or anything like that. To interact with the trash bins. Can't do that. Nothing over here. Leave you alone. If I don't leave you alone. Okay, yeah, she's getting angry. Dot dot dot. Go away. Now. I will not leave you alone. Train station, train station? What? Oh! God! Okay! Sometimes people, or ghost slash spirit slash yokai, don't like talking and being interrupted. So there's three out of five. Okay, so I got four out of five and three out of five. Which means I need five out of five and then one and two out of five. So I think my next one is trying to find these coins. Right? Oh, I can't interact with anything yet, I guess. Yes. Oh, wait. What? Ah, uh, so it won't let me interact with that yet. Okay. So. Where were the coins? No, no, no. The coins were over here. Yeah. Oh, yo, what? Points? Do I need to interact with the phone first? Find some pair spare coins. I could call a taxi. Oh, no way. Is it random where the coins spawn? I guess I'll look over in this area for coins first. Um, if I'm not seeing anything... I'll maybe just run down that path. There's some... Lucky day, I just need some extra coins. Okay, so it looks like the coins are actually pretty easy to see. I don't, I shouldn't have to look like too hard. Okay, yeah, nothing over here. I have a feeling there's probably not going to be anything like over here or like way over there. Like that's pretty out of the way. Oh, coins. Well, that was easy. Make a phone call, get a taxi. I'm assuming this is probably going to be like the first ending, right? Oh, a minute or two. This 
probably going to be like ending one out of five, I'm assuming. Okay, I called a taxi and it's going to be here in a minute or two. Which makes me worried I have to like run from something. Spirit girl still there. Yep. Ah, oh, there's my ride. Hey. That wasn't too bad. I didn't have to run from anything, I guess. Hey, where are you going? Are oh, you just doing a loop? Yeah, you are. Oh no, don't hit me. Ha <laughs> ha, stop. Oh. Awesome. That's one ending. We got three now so far. Uh, ending two out of five. Uh, you made it home, just had to listen to some boring radio talk. In the taxi. So that's not first ending. It means there's something even simpler. Even simpler? Even more simple? Yeah, more simple. Okay. Can't jump in front of it or anything. Or spam interact. No. Alright. I think this time I'm just gonna run, run home. Whoa! Okay. Well, there's one out of five. <coughs> oh God. <sighs> Leaving by walk wasn't a good idea. Didn't you see how late it was? Okay, so I think that's one out of five, two out of five, four out of five. Uh, did I get five out of five? I think I might be missing one. Yeah, I think I'm missing one still, which might have to do with the bikes. Maybe? Is there a way to get bikes over here? I feel like I haven't done anything in like this whole side of the map yet. This is the back rooms, right? Yeah. Okay. So yeah, I think there is one more ending. Unless I'm being really dumb here. So and I can't go in the bathrooms, so that's not an ending. Back rooms is right here. Uh, there's a bike area here, but there's no bikes. Nothing back here. Oh. I feel like it has to be something pretty obvious that I'm missing. 
I already tried running home. That's no no. So I died from her, died from her there, left with a taxi, fell in back room. So yeah, it's four out of five. Is one more ending. don't know what it could be. So you cannot catch the train. There's nothing back here. Nothing in the parking area either. Can't interact with the bathrooms. If you interact with the girl, she'll kill you. Coins are for the payphone. Oh wait, if I find coins, can I put them on one of these vending machines, maybe? Oh yeah, to get the coins I have to interact with the payphone. Yep, if only I had some coins. I use a vending machine. Kinda lost. So I guess I'll uh I'll stumble around some, try to figure out what this last ending is. And uh I'll just kinda cut to a few seconds before I figure out what's happening and what that last ending. Just choked on my coffee. <coughs> it seems like you didn't want to go back home at all. So don't worry, you're going to stay in the station. Well, I guess that's ending five out of five is just not finding any other way us out. Oh, I stopped to take a sip of coffee and she jumped me. That was brutal. <laughs> all right but yeah that was the three scary games for today and if you did enjoy please don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel we do really appreciate it if you like the series give the video a thumbs up let us know in the comments uh different games you might want to see even longer format horror games 